The topic I am going to discuss today is typesetting mathematics using LaTeX. So this will be a beginner level. Basically, you can see that in the syllabus of Calgary University uh, this year in MSc Mathematics, uh, there is a professional competency course uh, where a student can select any one of the following three courses. Uh, one is technical writing with the LaTeX. The other two are scientific programming with the Scilab and scientific programming with the Python. So today I will be dealing with the uh, handling this technical writing with LaTeX where you can see the syllabus of it uh, which starts from the installation of the software LaTeX. Anyway, uh, I am not going to uh, more technical details of installation. I will be providing for that and uh, it contain, uh, contains understanding LaTeX compilation, basics index writing equations, matrix tables and so on. So I'm going to divide this part into three parts. So here you can see some green, orange and red zones. All of you are familiar with these types of things now. So in this one hour, I can easily handle these first four sessions. And if time permits, uh, we can handle this orange area. But uh, you can see that the last two of them are in red. So I'm not going to uh, present uh, that details because we need a more time to handle uh, red zones that we know. Now, uh, my the contents of this presentation include in starting from the introduction and the uh, software, then some basics. Mostly, I will be dealing with the typesetting mathematics. Then you will also see how to prepare tables, metrics, and so on. And I also I will be including um, how to handle pictures in LaTeX, referencing and cross-referencing. And finally, I will be um, giving some time to error handling because if there are any doubts or any uh, program that you are currently doing, I can help you. Now, I plan to give an online training. Uh, not through slides, uh, but I have some slides for you. So first thing, have you heard about LaTeX? Uh, if not, I have an answer for that because uh, LaTeX is a free software. That may be the reason that you uh, may, have, may not have uh, means known this software. And uh, it is a typesetting program, not a word processing program. Now. LaTeX is good to use if you want to write scientific documents, especially mathematics. Now, also you can see that LaTeX, LaTeX is a programming language. So, which means that once your you have uh, your program is okay, means uh, correct, then you can produce the same output in all systems available to you. Means if you are using Windows, Linux, or Mac systems, or even in uh, mobile. Uh, you can have the same output. Okay, usually the outputs of LaTeX will be in PDF or device independent form, or that is DVA is also available, or PS, post scripts forms. Now, again, one or two, three slides. Now, the aim of this course or this uh, class is to provide you an online tutorial, also uh, to compare. This LaTeX with your WYSYWYG program. So what is that? So this says that what you see is what you get type programs. So you may know that uh, in word processor, whatever you type, that is what you are getting. Okay. But LaTeX is not in that type. In LaTeX, you have to use an editor or you have to put some commands and uh, you are uh, typing and uh, you need to process it or compile it and to produce your output okay now if you compare this latex with your wys wysi wyg programs that is what you see is what you get programs you can see that the writing mathematics uh, compared to even if the word processor are providing some writing mathematics um, options um, the latex produces the best quality while dealing with mathematics equations. Uh, whereas the cross references, bibliography, or uh, some other things, you can see that only the, these things are only available data. 
Now, the last option, you can see that uh, it can communicate with the different softwares because once, since it is a programming language, it can combine with the, any other programming, uh, for example, R or Python or uh, Java programs are also uh, have combination or combined, can be combined with this latter. If you check uh, Sage Mathematics, uh, one of the leading websites, open source leading websites in uh, mathematics for which is a software tool for scientific programming. Uh, it can combine all these types of uh, programming that is LaTeX, R or Python uh, in under one window. Now, as many of you know, I always start my class with this picture. So you will understand this picture sometimes later. Anyway, I have an introduction for this. That is this line. I also I always uh, call him as the ambassador, brand ambassador of LaTeX. Uh, what he is doing is that he is trying to place some of the texts, uh, mainly La and Tech, somewhere. And what he is using is that he is trying to use or he is using an advanced machine to put these texts together, right? Now, this is the uh, uh, pro and cons or both of LaTeX. That is, uh, in order to do some simple things or difficult things, you need to have the same procedure. You need to do the same procedure. Sometimes the, that text la and tech may be lightweighted, where you can actually handle them with your own hands. Uh, and sometimes it may be a very high rich text where it is not possible to uh, do it with other word processes. In any case, uh, you can handle them with the same set of commands or same set of operations. So that is what the meaning of this picture. This You can see this picture in the uh, chapter one uh, of the very basic textbook of LaTeX of Leslie Lambert, who introduced LaTeX to us. Now, the second picture is that who is actually going to work? You can see that actually uh, you are not working, so your computer is going to work since it is a programming language. So you just need to know the basic steps for the operations and your computer is going to work for you. Now, let us continue. So let me uh, show you two names, Donald Knuth and Les Lambert. Donald Knuth uh, is the one who introduced tech to us and the Leslie Lambert who uh, made it to Lambert tech or the our scientific tech. So we are using LaTeX today. Okay. Now uh, you can have your LaTeX in your system, um, any system, uh, Linux systems or Windows or Mac uh, by having two types of things. That is one is the uh, package the MicTech distribution or sorry the LaTeX distribution in Windows it is a MicTech you can note the uh, website now it is MicTech.org where uh, you can have the LaTeX distribution and there are many editors as I told you there are editors where you need to type and process so one of the editor I use is Technic Center there are many other editors many other easy editors maybe uh, for you. So anyway, I am just presenting one editor, which is called the Technic Center. Now, uh, how to install means it is just like a software, you need to download the exe file and install. Okay, so I don't want to uh, spend a lot of time for that. So as I said, uh, my aim is to provide you some tutorial to start typing. So next I'm going to share you another slide. Okay, so here uh, I have shared you one more uh, window. Now this is the editor, uh, the te editor technique center. Now what you have to do is you have to type some commands to produce your re required text, uh, where you can convert your text to uh, DVA format, which is called the device independence. Uh, what will be the operating system? You can view that. Our to PDF or HTML or two other different options using different techniques. Okay. Now to study 
basic LaTeX, you just need to know three commands. So what are the three commands? The first command is that what are you going to type? Okay. So let me type it as okay. It is slack slash document class and there's a curly bracket open for you. So from this you have to understand that any commands in LaTeX start with a backward slash. Usually I call it just slash and uh, the name of the command it is the document class so what you are going to type that is the question here now there is a curly bracket the curly bracket is the place where you, you, you need to enter your arguments so here you can either type article or type reports or type book or Beamer, or there are hundreds of such options. So, what is that? So, this is where you need to specify that whether you are going to write an article or report. So, you can see that an article is where now chapters present. So, if you are going to type an article or scientific article, you need to write article there. Or if you are trying to uh, make a project, then you need to have a report because you need chapters in your project. Right. Now, if you are uh, going to publish it as a book, you can use it as a book. Okay, you can use a book option there. Now, if you are uh, trying to present, for example, uh, my presentation is made, is also made in LaTeX, where I used the document class Beamer. Now, this is the first command. Now, next we are going to start the document. So, for that, you need to tell the LaTeX that. You are going to start the document. So, what is the command for that? It is slash begin documents. Okay. Now, you whenever you start something, you also have to tell the LaTeX that you are where you are going to stop your commands. So, I also need to type slash end of the same. That is slash end document. Okay. Now let me start with a, some sentence. This is my first LaTeX document created today. Anyway, I am going to write it as created on today. Okay. Now if I run this, uh, there is a button. Usually there will be some button in your LaTeX editor or some shortcut key available to you. If, if I uh, run that, they will ask you to uh, save your documents. Okay, so let me run that command. So they are sending that you need to save the file first. Okay, uh, I don't know whether it is possible to see the dialog box. Anyway, uh, I am going to type the name of uh, your document document as Assam. Okay, so here you can see that I have made or I have compiled the documents and this is the output. I hope the moderators are watching. I am uh, uh, showing both the software and the uh, PDF documents here. Now, you can see that this is my first LaTeX document created on today. Okay. Now, actually it is created today, but there, are, there is a reason for that. Now, I am going to change some commands or ca some letters. Uh, or I am going to convert some of the te uh, text to, for example, LaTeX to capital L, small a, capital T, small e, and capital X. Created on, okay, so it is slash today, right. Now, if I run it again, using the build and view button, uh, here you can see that I am going to uh, make a PDF file for that. Anyway, if I run that, you can see that what you can see is, okay, this is my first LaTeX document created on May 7th, 2020. So what you can see that corresponding to each command, some something is the for you. Okay. Now, there is some problem with this text. Can you see that? 
yes this is my first latex space documents okay but there is no space here okay so in order to provide a space in order to provide a space we need to have a commands so you may be currently thinking of your favorite document uh, processor however in latex you can see this uh, in order to produce a single space you need to write slash and a space okay so now if i compare it you can see that this is the must uh, sorry first uh, latex document there's a space available there for you created on may 7th 2020 now let me go to the next slide okay uh, usually as i present like i'm going to write in a line that in the next line that this is not the uh, second line in your documents okay so this is not the second line but you can see that i wrote it in the or i typed it in the second line of the document but still i am saying that this is not the second line in your document why because you can see that if i run that that line presents or comes in the uh, first line itself okay so in order to have a second line or to, uh, in order to go to another line you need another command okay so you may be feeling this uh, type setting a very difficult because in order to uh, bring a small space you need a command in order to go to a second line you need a command the command is double slash so if you put a double slash i can remove this node because i know that this is going to be the second line so if i compile this you can see that uh, this is my first latter document created on may 7th 2020 and uh, there is a second line okay this is the second line in your document so usually these types of problems are not with your own your favorite document processors but i can see that these are the only few difficulties that you or, or time uh, you need to spend it with your latex document however there are some time saving options in your latex so i will show that show you that by an example suppose i am going to type few more lines like this okay so what is the expected outcome yes there will be this is the second line or third line okay this is the next line in your uh, document like that in each line right now i am going to change the space counts or single space to multiple spaces now what is the output of this document I mean, this may be unexpected for many of you because you can see that uh, even though there are multiple spaces between two words you can see that there are only single spaces between the corresponding text now this is the first advantage of i usually mention it as the first advantage of uh, of latex over your word processing systems why because uh, the latex is actually designed for typesetting the last stage or the it is the final stage just before the publication of your document now uh, even if it is your uh, microsoft word or whatever be the your favorite document processing systems or latex you need to type your document that is the uh, clear thing because whatever the content you want to display in your textbook you need to type it but if you want to edit it or when it comes the time to edit your documents you spend a lot of time you can see that uh, in your other word processing programs but here uh, as in this case you can see that uh, you don't need to spend too much time the first case that the, you not you need not spend uh, too much time to spend to adjust the space in your document that is the first thing 
because uh, usually we say that the most used key in a uh, keyboard is that it is a backspace whether you are whatsapping or typing your latex do uh, documents not latex not documents the most used key in your keyboard is the backspace so here the first thing is that you don't need to worry about backspacing the text is automatically adjusted uh, in a way uh, which is required for it now let me come to the mathematics okay so here i am going to type consider a function right sorry uh, f of x now i also want to produce the same line again consider a function f of x now if i run that you can see that there are multiple lines say consider a function f of x there is a paragraph indentation you can see the first 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 line and uh, there is no indentation for the second line now you can see that this started as a new paragraph why because you actually uh, inserted a blank line here so a blank line or more than one blank line produces a new paragraph so if it is multiple blank line you don't need to adjust that uh, number of blank lines in LaTeX because you can see that uh, even or one or more than one blank line or blank space considers as a single blank line or blank space respectively. Now uh, coming to mathematics. So here you can see that both f of x are the same. But if I change the second f of x to dollar f of x dollar. That is, I know that or we know that this f of x is a math expression and I am going to tell the LaTeX that a math expression is going to type here. So for that, I introduced a dollar sign here. Then I typed the math ex mathematics expression. Then uh, whatever I begin, I should stop. Okay, I should stop at somewhere. I should end at somewhere. So at this stage, I told the LaTeX that a mathematics expression is going to start then i have the mathematics expression here for you then i need to stop that or i need to end that so i put one more dollar sign so this means that a beginning of a mathematics expression and there's a mathematics expression and the end of a mathematics expression symbol now let us see the output so now what can you understand it if i zoom this you can see that this is the display that we usually see in, see in uh, good mathematics textbooks. Okay, so I'm going to call it good mathematics uh, because this is the standard expression that we use for f of x. And this is some capital F and x where this is some f of x which usually stands for a function. Now, what we understand is that Whenever you need a mathematics expression, you need a dollar symbol. So I am going to type another mathematics expression. So let me write it as some e is equal to mc square. So what I should write? Consider uh, e is equal to mc square. So for that, uh, e is equal to mc square is a mathematics expression. So I am going to type a dollar sim. Uh, I type the dollar symbol. Then e is equal to mc square so there is a square you need right or you need a dollar symbol to cross the thing so if i type that sorry if i run that you can see that this is going to display like e is equal to mc square the required so what can you understand is that Ah, here whenever you need a superscript you need a cap so i'm going to just uh, uh, enlarge the display using another command so that i don't need to uh, i can uh, save my time to zoom this window every time so let me introduce a new command to you so i can either write cap, uh, slash l a r g e so this will change the font to some large level or I can also change 
slash capital L capital LARS or I can change to L A R G. Now you can see that if I produce the output, the corresponding output, yes, is like this. Now I think it is visible for everyone without much problem. Okay. Now this is for superscript. Now how to bring subscript? So you have it is e underscore say four will bring you e suffix four. Okay. So I will be spending some more time on these small expressions because this is the starting phase of our class. Now you can see that e4 is equal to mc square is obtained. Now let me type x square plus y square is equal to z square. Right. So this is x square plus y square is equal to z square. Okay. I don't need to show you the display because you know that. Anyway, let us see that it is the required x square plus y square plus is equal to z square. So what I typed, I typed a dollar, I started with the dollar, then the mathematical expression, and then one more dollar to tell the LaTeX that the math, mathematical expression is over. Now the aim, the first aim is to write this as an equation. So you know that this is an equation. So how to write this as an equation? So if I put double dollar, okay, in the starting and ending of your mathematical expression, the LaTeX identifies that this is some displayed expression. Okay. So one single dollar is to is enough to tell the LaTeX that it is uh, a mathematical expression, and the double dollar says that it is a displayed mathematical expression. So what is the difference? So here in the output you can see that yes, that expression comes centralized and uh, it assumes that there are some space available uh, just above and just below the expression okay you know you may not feel the difference anyway i will show you with another example consider so i am going to write slash int so what is slash int slash int is the command for the integral side okay so you can see that slash int is for integral and slash sum is for sum and there are many such operators and for every such operator you need a uh, command. Uh, this is not difficult because uh, the project you may be doing it may be some specialized mathematical area uh, where there may be a few mathematical concepts and notations. So you just need familiar with the, the corresponding um symbols okay so this slash int stands for slash sorry integration so i am going to type yes i am going to uh, integrate x square plus 3x plus 1 and uh, dx is the okay but there is it is not no, no, no. X square, it is x square plus 3x plus 1. Now, here you can see the difference. So, here I typed integral x square plus 3x plus 1 dx, but the, yes, the symbol is very small. Well, since this is an inline text, and not only that, I have enlarged the text. Okay. So, but when it is a displayed formula, you can see the difference. So I'm going to tell the LaTeX that this is a displayed formula. So I can put a double dollar for that. So I can put double dollar and obtain a displayed formula. Now you can see that the integral sign uh, is displayed. Now if the uh, corresponding large option is deleted, then you can see that uh, the usual in the uh, usual text size. This is the appropriate size which is required for your document. Now, how to bring an equation? So, here I am going to 
uh, introduce an equation. So I'm going to tell the LaTeX that I'm going to begin an equation. So what will be the comments? It will be slash begin equation and slash end equation. But anyway, since uh, I'm using a uh, uh, editor, which is a technical center editor, or you may be using different other editors, you can introduce such environments using uh, some techniques, some keyboard shortcuts. For example, here I am going to type EQU. So once that is available with me, I can see that some commands are displayed automatically. Okay, so it is some begin equation and end equation is displayed. So I can complete that with uh, some keyboard shortcut. It is control space at this time. So this is begin equation and end equation. Okay. Now, once begin equation and end equation is there, you have you can see that some other things are also displayed. As I am going to remove that uh, for the time being. So you have a begin equation and end equation. So you are going to tell the LaTeX that you are going to enter an equation. So let me write it as some four is equal to one plus one plus two. Okay, this is an equation. Now, if you run that. Yeah, what happens? The LaTeX not only displayed the mathematical expression as a uh, displayed formula, they put an equation number for that. So whenever you need an equation number, you can use that begin equation and end equation. Now I am going to put one more equation there. Okay, so slash begin equation or I have a shortcut which says that begin equation and equation. There is something more. I am going to delete that. I will tell you that later. Okay. Now I have one more equation. So it is 3 is equal to, yeah, 1 plus 1 plus 1. Okay. I am not going to make some complicated equations. The uh, Currently, I am focused on inserting equations in LaTeX. So this is another equation. So what you are going to get? You are going to get another equation with an automatically number, right? So since this is the second equation that uh, we inserted, this is the uh, equation with the number two. Now I am going to refer the first equation that uh, I am going to say that this four, this one plus one plus two is a partition of four. Okay, so. I am going to say that the above equation, okay. So, which equation? This can be this or that. Anyway, the above equation gives a partition of 4. But if someone reads that, this, then uh, they may be having confusion whether this equation or this equation. Uh, is I am having another useful tool from LaTeX. So the, this says that the above equation gives a partition of four. So here I am going to change this to the above equation slash ref. So slash ref is a command to refer some equation. Okay, or some environment. So here I'm going to refer the first equation. So how to label or how to refer this equation? For that, I'm going to uh, re uh, reinsert that deleted part. So he here you can see that there is a command slash label where I can put some label for the equation. So I, I may be writing it is PART4, uh, that is partition of 4. Okay. So here I can write this as, I am going to refer this equation. This equation has a label PART4. Uh, okay, so I am going to, I just need to enter that key, which I refer as the key. Okay, so this is the label and this key once placed, I can see that the above equation. So there will be a question mark anyway. Yeah. The above equation question mark gives you a partition of four. Now, what is the problem here? The problem is that here uh, you are typing in LaTeX and LaTeX is producing a PDF 
file here but latex is actually involved in producing multiple things okay so what are the multiple things yes whenever you write a label in one place latex is going to tell us uh, latex is going latex writes that this equation has label one okay or this label corresponds to this equation now somewhere else you are asking what is the corresponding label part of four okay since latex is doing these processes simultaneously you can see that it is not possible for latex to recall that which is the correct expression for this part of four okay but once this uh, compilation is over latex is ready with the answer so what do you have to do uh, since latex is ready now you have to do one more compiling to produce a required text or required uh, expression now you can see that the above equation one okay i know that this is the required equation so automatically it is number one gives a partition of four now this is the advantage of latex right now uh, if you feel then how this is going to be an advantage i am going to place the same problem before you suppose you are doing this in your own word editor or i am not going to specify a particular software uh, so let it be some word processing program now one problem is that the uh, situation is like that you need to interchange these two equations okay so if you need to interchange these two equations what you have to do in your favorite word processor yes you need to copy this okay you can uh, directly not able to copy one single part of that okay? you know you need to copy that equation together with the equation numbering so you may be copying this to uh, copying this or cut and paste it below the second equation where you can see that this equation will be having number two where the second equation will be having number one so you need to edit these things that is you need to edit 3 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 to uh, from 2 to 1 and uh, after that you need to edit 4 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 2 to uh, from 1 to 2 okay but what actually i told you i just told you to interchange these two equations okay so but you have done many other processes in your favorite word documents okay but in latex you just need to obey the exact requirement okay so what is the requirement requirement here the requirement is that i asked you to interchange these two equations right so in latex you just need to interchange by this by copying or cut this and paste below this right so you actually did or you uh, copied or cut paste the required the required fields to the required places now your process is over okay now let me show you now you can see that yes the above equation one gives a partition of four what is equation one this is the equation one but this is wrong we actually need this as equation uh, we actually need equation two here why this is so yes i already told you that latex is doing multiple processes at a time so in order to do this or you need to correct this you need one more processing okay so let me do that and you know the problem is okay right so here you can see that 3 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 is having equation 1 4 is equal to this having equation 2 and you correctly referred the partition of 4 right now here you can see some problem what is that the equation the above equation 2 right so the, there you actually need a space but we already know a command uh, to place a space here okay so what is the command it is slash space but i don't recommend to place a slash space here so here you need to place a slash space so i don't recommend you i don't i recommend to uh, use another operator which is tilde operator to insert a space uh, in a place like this why because you can see that this tilde not only produces a space it produces a bonding space between these two parts okay so which means that 
whenever this tilde is here this equation together with the four will always appear as a single uh, string right that is whenever you run or uh, whenever you place tilde you can see that that uh, four is always uh, on the right side of two suppose you are going to type uh, you are having an equation where the equation part will be uh, in one line and two will be in the second line okay so you know that it is not uh, good to present an equation like that so for that you need to bring tilde so that whenever you need uh, these two along with your equation uh, you can satisfy that condition now let me introduce some more mathematical concepts uh, whenever you need if you need more than one if you need more than one equation at a time uh, do you actually need uh, need to type begin equation and end equation each time no you can see that tech provides another command for that so when you have an array of equations right so i use the word array of equations so when you need more than one equations at a time i can introduce you eqn array commands so whenever you introduce something to latex or you begin something some environment latex you need to end that so the command should be begin equation array and end equation array now i am going to type the uh, some equations so this will be a three column uh, environment which gives you for example 4 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and in order to go to the second line there is a command you know so let me write as uh, 4 is equal to say 3 plus 1 let me write one more equation say 4 is equal to uh, 2 plus 2 okay now before proceeding I am going to put some dollar symbol before sorry uh, and symbol before and after that equal to say so why is that because I already told you that this is a three column uh, environment so this says that you need to specify in which column which expression should be in for example you are going to say that this uh, you can see that this and symbol actually separates the expression to different columns so four comes in the first column is equal to in the second column and this in the third column so if i run this you can see that you can simultaneously or you can obtain three equations at a time where that equations have numbered three four five because already you have one and two here and yes that equal to sign is arranged in such a manner that uh, yes it's look beautifully right now uh, as mathematical expressions involving same left hand side usually you can delete that so i can actually delete the first column parts from the second and third equations and obtain yeah so what you can see this is just four is equal to first expression which is equal to the second expression which is equal to third expression this is obtained by deleting the first uh, the expression from the first column that is the expression uh, before the and symbol okay now if you don't need uh, equation numbering for all these equations what you should do suppose you know you don't need three four five here what you should do here okay you can put a star so this star simply removes equation numbering or environment numbering okay so if you if i put a star here that equation numbering will also be removed from that part now i i have an equation star equation or a star so if i run that you can see that yeah you have three equations and one um, set of equations here right sir excuse me now yes yeah so we no. have, have uh, 10 more minutes so ah. we can uh, you can take another five to eight minutes more. right okay now i am coming to the syllabus parts so here you can see that uh, so i started with the basic uh, writing equations i am going to introduce how a matrix can be 
uh, inserter or how a table can be inserted okay now coming to new sections so i'm going to uh, modify my uh, document too. so by inserting some section numbering here so what you can see i inserted section so this is general introduction okay and this is some section or you can see that this is some mathematics okay and uh, here i am going to type slash section uh, multiple equations so what you can see is that i divided our document to multiple sections or i named the sections to multiple equations uh, okay multiple equations equations mathematics and general direction okay now in order to uh, change this to a project, I already told you that you need to change this article to a report. Okay. So if I change this to a report, what you can see is that this has changed to a report. Okay. The, uh, you can see that corresponding to this, corresponding to that document, you actually produced a uh, report. Uh, where a chapter numbering is missing i will introduce that later so you can see that this is the first section of your document right this is the second section automatically numbering is appeared in your corresponding sections now let me introduce a chapter also so here if i put a chapter so a chapter number is given to you so this is a report which means that this is going to be a single sided book so if i run that what you can see that yeah automatically chapter one heading is here and a chapter heading in a required more uh, means satisfactory font heading heads heading style and uh, your section numberings are automatically renamed to what Yes, the first chapter, first section, first chapter, second section, and so on. Now let us see the equation numbering. This is the first equation in first chapter. This is the second equation in first chapter, and so on. Now let me show you one more command and go to the table bars. So here I have slash table of contents. So what is table of contents? And uh, if you have ever done your project in uh, other word processing pro programs you can see that a table of contents is the most difficult part uh, just before the publication of your documents so what you can see is that here is a contents option and uh, there you actually need to type there you actually need to type your chapter name and the corresponding page number section name corresponding page number right and so on when you there are some five chapters and some 20 30 sections how did you do that for if you have done in project before okay the case is different in latex for example okay here uh, in there are some error okay i actually need to place this uh, commands after begin document okay that is the error hmm. Now I can show you what is the output. Now I already told, told you that it is a computer that is going to work for you. So what you can see? You can see that the, all the contents are ready for you, right? The LaTeX 4 hour is the chapter name with the correct uh, section number or page number. And uh, all the sections are correctly numbered. And whenever you uh, edit your document you can see that this table of contents automatically lacks to code. now coming to two more sections how to uh, insert a uh, figure and how to insert a matrix now let me start with a figure figure is a very easy part so here i am going to insert a figure so how to tell the latex that you are going to insert a figure 
yes it is begin figure and end figure so let me type like fig so all commands will be automatically available will be available here now what is that begin figure and end figure so here first you will be inserting uh, a command for figure okay so this is that next you will be inserting a caption for your figure okay it is there and a label for your figure now how to insert a figure here i need to uh, tell you that this command is not actually recognized by latex basic latex okay because if you run this command you can see that some errors will be there uh, then how to solve that problem you can see that latex actually provides a set of commands or different set of sets of commands in different packages so i need to tell the latex that please look for the package the corresponding language which i need to write like okay tell the latex that use package uh, graphic x this is one of the package for example uh, this ams math is another package where you can uh, very easily type mathematical expressions okay or ams thm you can uh, introduce many by putting commas ams thm is another command anyway in this case i am going to introduce uh, a figure i have done with appropriate package and the only thing you need to fill is then a file name so what is a file name a file name can be inserted by uh, the okay i'm going to show you my folder where i have done this problem i think the folder is already available with you uh, I need to tell that if it is not there, I'm going to uh, means I need to tell that uh, whatever be the picture with you, uh, you need to place that picture in the corresponding folder where you are working. Okay, for example, here uh, this is the file, a SAP file that I'm working here, and there's a picture, a small picture which is KKTM logo, okay, uh, which I am going to insert now. So what is the name of the file name it is kktm logo so i am going to uh, insert or replace this file name with the name of the file name okay now what is the caption the caption will be this sorry this is the logo of right kktm college this is my our institute and label okay some label so i am going to place cake it now let me show you what is going to happen okay oh this is a very big picture why because yes you told the latex that the width of your picture should be the column width. Column width means the entire column width. So let us restrict that. So I'm going to tell that it I just need a 0.25 part, that is 1 by 4, 1 fourth of the column width. Okay. So I'm going to run that again. Now you can see this. Yeah. Your picture is ready with some appropriate size and figure 1.1 this says that this is the first figure in the first chapter and what is the caption you remember that this is the logo of kktm college now this is not centralized so we can insert that with the commands so i am going to say that this uh, picture should be centering that is slash c e n t e r h okay now if i change that yeah this is centralized now uh, you can see that this equation this figure actually came uh, just after the second equation but the figure actually appeared somewhere else why 
yes usually latex provides or latex adjusts its uh, uh, environments in such a way that it is uh, some in a floating manner that uh, some unexpected uh, the figures with some uh, figures or environment environments with uh, some unexpected size are moved to a new page so in order to tell the latex that you need your file it's here itself you need to insert an optional argument or you can see that i am going to type slash begin figure and some h in the square bracket so this says the latex that i need my figure here so what is the place of that here yes this is just after sorry uh, I can see that this is just after the equation. Uh, okay, this is just after the multiplications. So there is no space again. Once again, it became the floating part. That is floating environment means the latex moved that environment to the next page. So if I put this figure somewhere else, so in order to change the figure, you just need to co copy the entire commands and under this equation, I'm going to place that. So if there are enough space for that, you can see that the corresponding command. Yes, this is just after the figure. Now I am 